Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we're taking a look at another aquarium heater and this is from RS Electrical and the model number is RS691. Now this is a digital LED display thermometer. It is digital because it controls the temperature with a digital thermostat that's built inside the heater and this is these are also called LED heaters because they display the temperature on the heater itself with a LED display. Now this particular model displays the temperature in degree Celsius. There are also models available which displays the temperature in degree Fahrenheit. And this is the typical packaging of the uh, box. On the right side you can see, if you look closely, you will see that it is capable of uh, maintaining the temperature from 16 degrees Celsius all the way up to 35 degrees Celsius. It also comes with the temperature controller which you can use to set the temperature from 16 to 35 degrees Celsius. And the other thing about this heater is that in, in one of my previous, in many of my previous videos, we've taken a look at such type of heaters, but all those heaters were not remembering the set temperature values. So every time there was a power cut, those heaters were defaulting back to the factory set values uh, that was set by the factory. But in this case, it doesn't happen. Even if there is a power cut, it will remember the set temperature that you set on this heater. So you don't have to worry about setting the temperature every time there is a power cut. So it remembers your set temperature once you set this up. There is that. The other thing about the heater is the placement of the heater. When it comes to aquarium heater, make sure your heater is completely submerged inside water. As you can see in this case, the heater is inside water, completely inside water. This is all right. In this case, it is again inside water, all right. The orientation of the heater doesn't much matter. You can put this upside down, left side, right side, but the heater must be completely submerged in water. As you can see in the last picture, the heater is not completely submerged. So the heater may get damaged because as I mentioned, the thermostat which controls the water temperature is built inside the heater. If you keep the heater outside water, the thermostat will not know what the temperature in your water is and it may dam it may get damaged it may overheat your water and the element heating element can also get damaged and remember when it comes to aquarium heaters they are not very repairable almost every time you uh, something happens to the heater you pretty much have to throw it away especially in these one because the uh, the circuitry inside is completely potted and filled with resin so there is no repairability here so if something happens to this heater there is no way we can repair this so that's pretty much it about the heater let's take this out and see how it looks and by the way this particular model is about 50 watt now depending upon if you if your aquarium has got a lid or not whether your uh, ambient temperature in your room is warm or uh, not you can get away with any wattage of heater right so this particular one is 50 watt heater uh, the, um, the amount of heating that you need will depend on your environment. So there is that. So let's just take this out and see how it looks from inside. So that's pretty much what you get inside the box, the heater itself. And as you can see, this is how the heater looks. There are these fins which will uh, let the water get inside and heat up the water evenly and these will also prevent smaller fish from getting inside so that they don't touch the heating element directly as you can see here you can see the model number led heater rs691 and here is the led display which i will show you when we turn this on i can't turn then turn this on outside water because the element will get damaged it comes with a two pin plug european style indian style two pin plug and here is the temperature controller controller that i was talking about on the temperature controller again you can see that you can set the temperature from 16 to 35 degrees celsius it is cyclic control so meaning you can't go less you can't go up the only way you can do this by cycling through different temperature values so once you reach 35 you have to keep pressing it and it will go back to 16 and again you keep pressing it it will go from 16 to 35 it is cyclic not up and down so they could have added another button to set the temperature up and down here you have to keep pressing the button until you reach the desired temperature. Anyways, this part is not waterproof, so make sure this part is always outside water. So there is that. And here is the heater itself. And let me just uh, open this up a little bit so that we can see how it looks from inside. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this because I want to show you what is inside the heater. So as you can see, there are two clips, one on this side and one this side. I've just opened them. 
so once you open them you can see this part comes out and these suction cups are removable these are good enough they works really well and again there is a backing cover so that your fish don't enter the heater so as you can see this is how the heater looks this is the circuit board here is your heating element covered in glass and if something happens to the heater we can't repair it because this is completely filled with resin as you can see this is transparent resin at the back you will there will be a, a on off relay whose life also depends also dictates how long your heater will last because it is the relay that decides how long your heater is on and how long your heater is off so and you can also see the wires and all of these so if something happens to the wire we can't repair it because it is completely potted or sealed with this resin so that's pretty much it let's put this back together you don't have to do this i just wanted to show you what is inside so there is that so let me just open this up and see what is the length of the wire so i've got my tape measure here so this is my tape measure starting from here let us measure the length of the wire so as you can see the length of the wire is about uh, four feet long a little more than one meter long so the length of the heater uh, the heater wire is about uh, four feet uh, about a little more than one meter long so let's just put this heater in and let me show you how the led lick looks and how the it works inside of, of water all right guys so i've got this small container set up so let me put in the heater and see how the heater works and how to control the temperature so let me just put this in and making sure that we can see the lcd screen i have not turned the heater on just yet because if you turn the heater on outside water there's a chance there's a very good chance that you may damage the uh, heating element so make sure every time you want to turn on your aquarium heater it is completely submerged in water and then turn it on so our heater is now plugged in uh, put inside uh, this container let me just plug this in and then i will show you how to turn this on and how to set the temperature all right so as you can see i've got this extension here so let me just plug this in and see what happens on the heater so after plugging it in you can see the heater will turn on and it will display the current temperature at the moment it is displaying the current temperature of the water which is 20 degrees celsius and you will see that there is a small led glowing on top of the temperature rating which is signifying that the heater is now in heating phase basically the heater is now heating the water when the led is turned off that means the heater is not heating the water during that time now let us set the temperature now at the temp at the moment we don't know what the temperature is set so let's see to see the temperature uh, the set temperature all we have to do is just press uh, the temperature set button once so as you can see this is the button press it once if you press it once it will display the set temperature and as you can see it is displaying 20 let me do it again as you can see it is displaying 28 degrees celsius and it is blinking that means the set temperature is 28 degrees celsius let us change the uh, temperature to let's say 32 degrees celsius now to change the temperature to 32 degrees celsius keep pressing this button the temperature set button until you reach 32 degrees celsius so i will keep pressing it until i reach 32 degrees celsius so let's press it one two three four five as you can see 32 is displaying it will blink and then it will go back to the current temperature and that means our temperature 32 degrees celsius is now set and as you can see the led is now glowing so the heater will heat the temperature all the way up to 33 just a little one degree celsius above 32 which is what we said and as soon as the water temperature touches 33 uh, the heater will turn off the led will turn off but it will keep displaying uh, the current temperature of the water so let's see whether we, we were successful in setting the temperature or not so again to see the set temperature press the set button once and as you can see the temperature is remembered by the heater now one good thing about this particular heater is unlike the previous models that we've seen of the same type of heaters is that once the power goes off so let me remove the plug as you can see i've removed the plug and it will turn off after some time uh, in the previous models what was happening was it was forgetting the temperature and it was defaulting back to the factory set temperature which was 26 degrees celsius but in this model it remembers the temperature 
even after a power cut. So let me reinsert the plug. So as you can see, it is displaying this temperature, but let's see whether it remembered the set temperature or not. So I will again to see the set temperature, I will press the button once. And as you can see, even after the power cut that we've just simulated, it remembered the set temperature. So let us set the temperature back to something uh, more at what temperature I like to keep my tank. I usually like to keep my temperatures at 26 degrees Celsius, which is not that uh, warm. And also it's much easier to maintain than the 30, 32 degrees Celsius. So again, let's set the temperature back to 26 degrees Celsius. Again, keep pressing it. And as you can see, it is a cyclic control. There is no up and down. So you will have to reach the maximum value and then it will keep cycle through. You will have to cycle through the values until you reach the desired temperature. So we'll keep pressing it 35. Again, it, it will cycle from the lower values. So let's go to 26, 26, leave it. It will blink for some time. And now temperature is, is our set. To see the set temperature again, press the button once. 26 is now set. So let us wait for some time until the water reaches 26. At the moment, the water heater is heating because the LED on top of the temperature is red. Once it reaches 26, just a little above 26, that is 27 degrees Celsius, it will turn off and the LED should turn off at the top. So let us uh, come back when the temperature is near 26 degrees Celsius. So as you can see, the water temperature has reached 26 degrees Celsius and the heater is still heating. As you can see, the LED is still glowing. That means the heater is still heating the water. And that's because this will take the water temperature all the way to 27 degrees Celsius and then it will turn the heater off automatically. So at the moment it is heating the water because we can see the LED glowing. So let us wait for a couple of seconds and see whether the heater turns itself off when the water temperature just touches 27 degrees Celsius. And remember, we set the water temperature to stay on 26. And as soon as the water temperature will touch 26, or that is go above 26, it will turn itself off. So let us wait for it to go above 26 and we'll see the LED will turn off. That means the heater will stop heating the water. So there we go. As you saw, as soon as the water touched 27 degrees Celsius, the heater turned off. As you can see, the LED turned off. And now the heater is not heating the water temperature anymore. So the water stays at 26 degrees Celsius. And the heater is now in cooling phase. So the water temperature will go down. And as soon as the water goes below 26, that is it touches 25 degrees Celsius, the heater will again turn on and start heating the water. And we will see that as soon as the water touches 25, that is goes below 26 degrees Celsius, we will see that the LED will again turn on signifying that the heater is again now started working and started heating our water. So let us wait for the water temperature to go down and the water temperature goes down because of the surrounding air. As you know, we are only heating the water, but we are not heating the surrounding air. And as we open our room doors and closes it, the cold air comes into our room, uh, uh, cooling the surrounding air and thereby reducing the water temperature of our tanks. So that's why that's how our tank loses uh, the temperature and let's see uh, whether the heater turns on or not as soon as the water reaches below 26 degrees Celsius. So we'll come back when the water reaches just uh, water is about to reach below 26 degrees Celsius. All right. So as you can see, the water temperature has reached 26 degrees Celsius and the tank water is losing heat because of the surrounding cold air. And as soon as the water temperature reaches below 26 degrees Celsius, the heater should turn on and the LED on top of the display should also turn on signifying that the heater is now started heating the water. So as you can see, as soon as the water went below 26 degrees Celsius, the heater turned on. And as you can see, the LED on top also started glowing, signifying that the heater is now started and working. So again, it will take the water temperature all the way up to 27 degrees Celsius. And as soon as the water touches 26 degrees Celsius, the heater will turn off and the LED will also turn off telling you that the heater is now stopped heating the water. So this is how these types of heaters work. All right, so the heater is now working without any problem. So what I will do now is I will let the heater run for about six, seven days. 
and I will come back after 6-7 days and see whether it is maintaining the water temperature at 26 degrees Celsius or not and that will tell us whether it is maintaining the temperature uh, over a period of time. Now one thing I want to tell about tell you about this these heater or these types of heaters or any other heater that you are using in your tank is whenever you buy a new heater make sure to compare the water temperature with a known good thermometer that you trust because every time you buy a new heater the thermostat the heating element on a new heater is always different no two heaters are very similar so there is always there is always will be a difference because the heating element in some heaters may be a little longer in some heaters may be a little shorter so that can cause the temperature difference of 2 to 3 degrees sometimes so always compare the water temperature whenever you buy a new heater with a known good thermometer that you trust and with that set your temperature accordingly so that is one thing i wanted to mention here all right guys so as you can see i installed the heater in this tank and for the past six seven days i haven't had any problem it is maintaining the temperature properly and the display is also correct because i measured it with my compared it uh, with my thermometer the display seems to be also working fine and so far i haven't had any problem it is maintaining the temperature properly the fish doesn't seem to bother a bit about the heater and they are swimming well eating well no problem so far however the fish that i'm keeping in this tank don't really need a heater i bought this for a better fish tank which i will be setting up in future so before i, I put this heater in in the better fish tank it would it was a good idea to test this in this tank so there we go this was my video on this uh, uh, digital uh, rs electrical rs691 50 watt ledg led digital thermostat heater I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. And one thing though, uh, some of you may be wondering why the temperature is so low. I just did the water change and that's why it is displaying 21 degrees Celsius. Although I like to keep my tanks at 26 degrees Celsius, which seems to be uh, my favorite temperature when it comes to uh, keeping tropical fish. Bye bye.